Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel here made by Ying with Donna. Today I'm working on month 11 blocks 43 and it's coming together really sweet so let's have a look see. So right now I've got to where I can show you on block 7 it's E7 you've had a couple places that you've had to work with and iron in and join those. Then down here you've had the same thing on E8 you had to marry a couple pieces. If you look at your graft up here you're going to go across to E7 and it's right here. It's the last little section of where you're going to see the spinning of the center of the vortex. Then 8 is over here and it's going to have the wine colors. So it's coming together really pretty. I love the way that it looks. So let's get this puppy joined in and we'll see how it goes. So we're going to lay them belly down and we're going to see if there's any place that needs to join. And there's two places down here so I would highly recommend that you just pop in right there. Line it up just right. Put a clip in here at the end. And then you're going to look down here to make sure that these are lined up just where you want them. You can pin in place both of those or you can clip. I'm just going to go in between them. To make sure that I've got everything lined up, I'm going to stick a pin straight through. If it matches, and it does, I know this is lined up just the way it needs to be. So I'm going to slide it under back tack it in and join this section together. Take your time, it's, it'll feed in. Make sure that you've dropped your stitch length to the 1.5. I'm getting to where you can feel the little bumps. We'll snip this out before you pull your paper. Make sure that everything is lined up and it, as you can see, it's shifted just a little bit, but there's no room up here, so that must be the spinning of the vortex that's causing it to go like that, because all of my lines are lined up everywhere they're supposed to be. So let's go ahead and pull that paper. As you can see, the lines line up here, and they line up here. I'm lining up here. So I'm not gonna rip that, even my seam allowances, in my gray, they're right on target. So that tells me that's the way this pattern is intended. So if you see something that looks like it's a little bit off, flip it over and make sure that all of your gray lines are lining up. All of your seam lines are lining up. You don't want to go pulling it out and finding out that it was not their mistake or your sewing. It was the way the pattern intended. So there's a reason some stuff happens. And as I'm working this, I'm seeing the whys in it. So go ahead and pull all of this out. We're going to flip it open and we're going to press it flat. Give it a little snug tug and come straight in and you're going to be able to put a little bit of pressure here that's going to help you finger press this into place. Right here where your fabrics, you got a little bit of bulk. Finger press those down and I've switched over to my ironing board so that things will come in a little bit quicker for you. And where those little bumps are, I'm going ahead and adding a little bit of extra heat right there. So now all of that is all tucked in everywhere it needs to be. So right now would be a good time to go ahead and pull out the extra paper that you're not going to need because as you're starting to join other blocks together, you're going to need to leave just one that's going to mark what your piece is. Come up into here and just go ahead and pop these out because we don't need them now. 
and I'll come back to all these little tiny pieces as soon as I'm finished getting everything pieced in. But I'm just showing you, use your tweezers. Be careful the way that you're pulling your paper out because you don't want to pop seams. It's really important that you don't. You wouldn't want to be going back in through and re-sewing anything because that would be a little bit of a nightmare for you. And if you're back tacking in place at your start and your finish, everything should hold in nice and tight for you. And honestly, I am really proud of this project. It's looking really amazing. And just go ahead and tear these out. And where you have these, just use your snips and they will help you every step of the way. And you decide where you want to let your markers or you might want to leave them in until you're ready to piece the whole quilt. Or you're going to be joining blocks per month like I am. Whatever the process that you're choosing to do, it'll Come in and look just fine when you're done. And I'll pop those out in the end. But now that we've got E done, look how these are going to look really pretty. So now we've got one more week that we're going to be able to do. And then we'll join all of this together and I'll see you back in the end. So with all of that being said, I'd like to thank you for joining me. And we have one more week for month 11. I'll see you then. Take care and God bless.